Earth Day will be 53 years old on April 22nd. It marks the anniversary of the modern-day environmental movement that began in 1970. Energy and environmental issues today are much in the news between oil and gas prices, electric vehicles, heat pumps, and discussions about a clean heat standard. As part of that, several local energy committees have organized an energy fair on April 22nd from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Manchester Town Hall. Several organizations in the environmental and energy arena will be present to share information about how to save money and energy. Carl Buchholz of the Manchester Energy Committee walked us through what will be going on at the Kilburn Room in Manchester's Town Hall, where the event will be held. We're going to have a couple, I have three local folks with businesses. Uh, Bill LaBerge with uh, Grassroots Solar and Alex Mintz with Solar Pro. They are very local, one's Dorset, one's Arlington. And then a fellow named Jason Day, who builds uh, wind turbines, he's in Dorset also. So they are three local folks who are uh, selling renewable energy products. We're also going to have a tale with window dressers. Um, some of you may be familiar with that program. Uh, it's a very low cost. Uh, program where you get a storm window it is inserted on the inside and it saves money it cuts down drafts it makes your home much more comfortable in the winter time so we'll be demonstrating that and then Green Mountain Power will be here as someone from them and someone from Efficiency Vermont and also Brock the Bennington Rutland Opportunity Council all three of these companies and agencies have programs to save people a lot of money and also to help uh, do energy audits um, and figure out where the first place to start is to make your house more comfortable and to save money heating and to reduce your carbon footprint all at the same time. Well, the technology certainly is here. There's no question about it. We do need to build more capacity in terms of having more renewable energy uh, you know, solar panels, um, wind energy, etc. We need to generate more. But the other thing that I hope they take away is an opportunity to have an energy audit for their house to figure out uh, sitting down with people from Brock or Efficiency Vermont and learn what kind of programs they might qualify for. My understanding is that you could get up to a $5,000 worth of weatherization for free if you qualify. It's, it's really amazing how much money there is around now for these type of programs. Um, so you know, that's what I hope people take away. The other thing I haven't mentioned, um, we also are going to have electric bikes, uh, e-bikes. We have a program that will be in Manchester for a month where you can borrow for free an e-bike and it's through this program called Local Motion, the statewide group. So we'll have uh, a demonstration bike here at the town hall where the energy fair is going to be, and that's exciting. One of the organizations that will be taking part in the fair is Efficiency Vermont, the state's energy efficiency utility. Becca Custer, their community engagement manager, told us about what they'd be doing there. Um, Efficiency Vermont is the statewide energy efficiency utility. So we work uh, with Vermonters across the state to help them reduce their energy use. We do this in a lot of ways, um, including offering rebates and incentives, as well as technical advice and education. So, um, and so really what I'm there is to talk with Manchester residents and attendees um, about how they can engage with Efficiency Vermont and take advantage of opportunities to save um, money on their energy. Um, that could look like some kind of like low cost uh, solutions like a free energy saving kit, which come with LED light bulbs and water saving devices. So I will actually be giving out kits at my table so people can pick one up there. Uh, they can also order them online. Uh, we also offer things like a virtual home energy visit. So that's a great way to just get a high level assessment from one of our energy consultants um, and they can help identify ways for people to save. And then we have, you know, if people have already taken some of those initial measures, we can talk about bigger projects like weatherization or heat pumps. Um, so I'll be talking with folks about all of those and 
what seems right for their home and their situation. In addition to Efficiency Vermont, Brock, the Heat Squad, Window Dressers, Green Mountain Power, Grassroots Solar, and the Bennington County Solid Waste Alliance will be taking part and exhibiting there as well, along with others. This event will be sponsored by the Energy Committees from Manchester, Dorset, Arlington, and Sunderland, and Earth Matters, 350 Vermont. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.